Good morning. Give me your tired and your poor who can stand on their own two feet and who will not become a public charge. As we approach Liberty Island today, this view is similar to the one seen by many thousands. The fact of the matter is, at the time that the statue was dedicated as a celebration of immigrants, we were in the middle of a nativist uh, campaign to restrict certain immigrants from coming to the United States. So there's always been a great deal of contested terrain around who's white enough to get into the United States. It's reinforcing the ideals of self-sufficiency. It's not very hard to read between these lines. What he's saying is that America should be for affluent Northern Europeans and not for anybody else. The poem is very explicit about the, the democratic norms that we should welcome diverse sets of immigrants into this country. And that is one of the, the, the hallmarks of what has made us exceptional uh, over the last 50 or 60 years. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol of liberty enlightening the world. It's a symbol of American liberty lighting the world. What Mr. Trump and his subordinates are suggesting is that we should return to a time where we would be a master race democracy where birth into a race, the white race, uh, will entitle you to all kinds of benefits and citizenship status that won't be sort of entitled to others. What they're trying to do is to put in place a system that will turn back the clock to where the dominant immigration streams to the United States will be people of European descent and not of Latin American, Asian, and African. Transforms the goddess into a bearer of law and light. In the time that the statue was dedicated to be about immigration, we can't lose sight of the fact that the statue was a gift to France to celebrate emancipation, to celebrate the end of slavery. And it was dedicated as a celebration of immigration in part because we were in the middle of struggles over race and gender and class, and it eventually became a framing for American liberty. And so of course it's preposterous to think that we should only be talking about a certain type or certain look of immigrant having access. We fought those battles in the civil rights movement. And and they should be over.